Yes, so we learned about land animals, animals that live on land. Camel, elephant, giraffe, lion, tiger, dog, cat. These are all land animals. Land animals we can see around us in the forest, isn't it? Yes. There are some animals that live in hot places, isn't it? Yes. Which animal is that? Yes, camel. Camel lives on hot place. Without taking water, it can live for many months. Yes, it hump. Camel's body, there is a hump. There it stores food. So, it can uh, it get energy for many days. If it is not taking food and water, no problem. So, camel can live in hot place. And there are some animals living in cold place like polar bear. It has uh, full of uh, hairs on its growth uh, on its body, thick fur we say, thick hair growth on the body which help it to protect from cold. Huh? Yes, so animals uh, uh, on land they live in hot places and they live in cold places. Some animals climb the trees, they are climbing animals. Yes, we also learned about climbing animals like monkeys, squirrels, uh, climbing frog, domestic cats, uh, they are leopards, they are all climbing animals, isn't it? So these are all land animals only. Then we learned about animals that live in water. There are fish, different kinds of fishes are there. Fish has uh, fins which help it to swim in the water and it has gills which help the fish to breathe under water. Whale, whale is a big water animal. It has fins to swim but uh, it has no gills. So it comes up for breathing. And there are many other water animals like starfish, it lives in the water. Huh? Fish, whale, starfish, huh? these clownfish, frogfish. These fishes are lives in the water. They live in water. Then we le uh, learned about the animals that live both on land and in water. Example, frog. Yes, frog has special back legs which help us to swim in the water and to hop on the land. Hoping means jumping on one foot. Yes. And there are uh, many other animals like crocodile, turtles. They live both on land and in water. Yes. Now, let us learn about the animals that are so useful to us. Animals which are so useful to us and animals that we keep in farm or we keep in our house as pets. Mm? So, they are called domestic animals. Yes. Next we learn about domestic animals. Some animals are kept by men in the houses. They are called domestic animals. For example, cow, goat, donkey, dog and horse etc. So domestic animals means cow, goat, horse, donkey etc. They are all domestic animals dog they are all domestic animals then they live in our houses domestic animals are kept for various purposes we keep domestic animals for many things many purposes they are very useful to us they help us in different ways domestic animals they are so useful they help us some domestic animals are not very useful but they are kept as pets. Some domestic animals are not that useful. So we keep them as our pets. Examples parrot, lovebirds. Uh, parrot, lovebirds. They, we keep them as our pets. Parrots are there. Uh, lovebirds are there. But some animals like dog, cat also we keep as pets. Uh, rabbit some people keep as pets. Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, domestic animals are animals that are useful to us. We keep them in the farm like cow, goat, horse and all we keep in the farm. Uh, they are very useful, they help us. Cow gives us milk, hen gives us egg, goat gives us milk, meat, uh, hen gives us egg, meat, duck, or the ducks gives us egg. Uh, some uh, people eat the eggs of duck, some people eat the meat of duck. So, they are all Domestic animals, they are useful to us and they help us also. Mm, donkey, 
donkey is also a domestic animal donkey it helps us for carrying the load and all it helps us that's why we are saying that domestic animals are useful and also they help us and uh, some uh, domestic animals which are not uh, that useful we keep them as our pets they live uh, with uh, us like a family it, it becomes a part of our family pet animals becomes a part of our family they live with us in our family they are pets and parrots love birds dog cat we keep them as our pets we will take care of them isn't it we take care of them we regularly we clean them we feed them uh, they are our pets yes so that is about domestic animals then you know some animals that we can see in the forest in jungles they live in forest forest is their home so they are called yes so they are wild animals they are wild animals yes some animals live in the forest they are called wild animals various types of wild animals are found in forest of india different animals we can see different kinds of animals we can see in the forest of india in our country okay the major wild animals of india are elephant tiger lion rhino bear etc they live in the dense forest in the thick forest they live in forest so some wild animals names are elephant then tiger elephant tiger Rhino, Rhino means rhinoceros. Okay, Rhino. Then uh, bear. Uh, these are some animals that we can see in the thick forest. They are wild animals. They live in jungles. Okay, in, 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 we have many forests in our country. In this thick forest, we can see these wild animals. Forests are the home actually, and some of these wild animals we can see in the zoo also if we visit zoo we can see these animals the closely we can see isn't it yes so that's about domestic and wild animals so domestic animals are animals which are useful to us hmm? they help us in many ways cow goat horse dog donkey they are all domestic animals some domestic animals which are not that useful we keep in our home along with us uh, they are our pets we take care of them, we pro uh, they protect us, we protect them, uh, we feed them, we uh, clean them. Yes, the like lovebirds are the parrots are the dog, uh, rabbits, uh, etc. Yes, then uh, animals that live in jungles, in thick forests, they are wild animals. Elephant, tiger, lion, rhino, bear, they are all wild animals. Yes, so in this kinds of animals we already learned about land animals water animals animals that live both land and water isn't it yes and domestic wild animals they are also land animals yes now what about this flying yes birds fly isn't it they are flying animals birds are flying animals we say huh? They have uh, wings to fly, isn't it? Yes, so we see birds, many birds around us. Birds, yes, we can see many birds around us, isn't it? Birds have beaks and feathers. They have beaks, B-E-A-K-S, beaks. They have, they have feathers also. Beaks means using the beaks they collect and gather food they uh, they take the food or they collect the food using the beaks and they eat it yes beaks uh, birds use the beaks to gather and collect uh, food that to eat food okay and they have feathers feathers means wings to fly birds have beaks and feathers feathers do many jobs for birds feathers helps birds for many things different kinds of feathers are the soft down keeps them warm soft down feathers are the which keeps the birds warm okay they it give them heat hot make them if it is so cool cold outside these feathers keeps them warm then wing wing feathers are the it, it helps them to fly up high in the sky Tail feathers are the, it is used for steering, steering, steering of vehicle, not that steering, 
it means to control the direction yes steering is a, in a car we best we have steering to control the speed direction and all we use steering isn't it to turn and all uh, yes so same way here uh, this tail feathers helps the bird to control the direction to twist and turn uh, to balance uh, uh, the tail feathers helps them okay so there are different types of feathers for the birds uh, soft feathers soft feathers are the soft down feathers are the which helps them to uh, keep them warm uh, for keep, keep them warm then flight feathers are the flight feathers which helps them to fly up in the sky then tail feathers are the which helps them for steering steering means to control the direction which allows the bird to twist and turn and fly okay yes to balance uh, that is tail feathers so birds have feathers different kinds of feathers are there for birds to fly it has beaks also which help them to eat the food birds like hen gives us eggs and meat so hen comes under birds it gives us eggs and also meat people eat eggs and meat of hen eggs are part of a healthy diet we eat its meat also yes eggs are part of a healthy diet isn't it uh, to healthy diet means for food we should eat good food food rich in the nutrients healthy food so egg is a healthy food for us then ducks are other useful bird another useful bird is ducks okay and ducks some people eat the meat and eggs of duck yes so uh, ducks also gives us eggs and it also gives us meat some people eat the meat of the duck yes so parrots next is a bird a beautiful green bird with red curved beak parrot is another bird people keep it as pets pet isn't it green color it is and it has a beak it is curved shape conical shape we say a curved shape curved shape beak is the for parrot why because to eat parrot eats nuts fruits and all to break the fruits and nuts and to, to eat it has this beak curved beak it helps them to break the nuts fruits and it can eat easily parrots can speak if trained if we train the parrot how how we are speaking the same way parrot will talk to us it will tell our name it tells our name whatever we tells we speak to it it repeat it and it imitate us it imitate us so it has that uh, talent uh, of speaking just like human beings a uh, parrot also speak uh, if you have a parrot as pet in, in your home you can train the parrot uh, it, it say your names it call your name yes doves are other birds which can fly to longer distances doves d o v e s doves are another birds they fly for long distance they can fly in olden days doves are used to send messages in earlier days we people use this doves uh, pigeons to uh, send messages okay so you can see the bird here uh, with the uh, letter it send it carry the letter to other place so people use the bird for that yes so flying flying means birds birds have beaks and feathers feathers help them to fly different types of feathers are the for birds yes they have soft down feathers which keeps them warm they have flight feathers which helps them to fly high in the sky they have tail feathers which helps them to for steering to control the speed while they fly to stand turn uh, to balance tail feathers helps them so these are the different types of feathers for birds and examples hen hen gives us egg and meat also the ducks it gives us eggs and some people eat the meat of ducks then parrot we keep parrot as pets is a green color bird it has a curved beak which helps them to break the nuts and fruits and eat and it if we train the parrot it 
imitate us it speaks how we uh, how we are speaking the same way it, 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 it talks to us okay then doves are another bird they fly very high and also long distances they fly for longer distances and so people uh, in earlier days they use doves for sending messages uh, they give letter to it uh, it attached to the, the the letter will attach to the mouth or the uh, legs of the bird it, uh, fly and it uh, goes to the other place and gives the letter and will come back okay earlier days people used dove to send messages from one place to another yes so flying means birds yes so we learned about kinds of animals isn't it we learned about land animals animals that lives on land and we learn uh, land animals in hot places cold places climbing animals we learned then we learned about water animals animals that live in water fish whale clownfish frogfish uh, these are the animals that lives in water then we learned animals that live both on land and in water like frogs then turtle crocodile etc then we learned about flying animals like birds birds are flying animals it has beaks and it has feathers different kinds of feathers are the for birds to fly and hen ducks parrot dove are examples we learned isn't it yes so far we learned about kinds of animals isn't it yes kinds of animals we learned about different types of animals or kinds of animals In that we learned about land animals animals that live on land isn't it yes and in land animals we learned about animals in hot places animals that lives in cold places climbing animals etc then we learned about water animals animals that live in water like fish uh, whale clownfish frogfish and all then we learned about animals that live on both the both on land and in water both on land and in water we learned about those animals like frog hmm? crocodile turtles they live both on land and in water then we learned about yes flying animals like birds they have beaks and feathers feathers to fly beaks they use to collect and gather the food to eat the food we learned about ducks hens which gives us eggs and meat and the parrot bird flying bird people keep them as pets this bird parrot as pets and they imitate like human beings if we train them yes so we learned about different kinds of animals land animals water animals animals that live both on land and in water then flying animals called birds then we learned about domestic and wild animals animals that are useful to us and animals that we keep as pets or we keep in farm huh? they are so useful to us domestic animals cow goat Buff, buffalo horse etc then we learned about wild animals animals that live in dense forest uh, lion tiger uh, elephant etc yes now we will learn about how animals are useful to us hmm? animals are useful to us in many ways so let us learn about how they are useful to us in how many ways they are useful to us okay animals are useful to us animals which give us milk so which are the animals that give us milk children yes can you name yes you daily you drink milk isn't it it's so good to drink milk morning and night yes or no yes so which animal gives you milk yes cow gives us milk then cow buffalo gives us milk cow is an important domestic animal it gives us milk cow is a domestic animal uh, people 
keep cow in the farm uh, they are useful to us so useful animals are domestic animals yes so it gives us milk buffalo gives more milk than cow so not only cow buffalo also gives us milk cow buffalo gives us milk goat also gives us milk and its milk is good for health so what about goat g o a t goat also gives us milk its milk is very good for our health so cow gives us milk buffalo gives us milk goat gives us milk yes then we prepare food items like curd curd then butter curd butter cheese cheese then ice cream ice cream then paneer these all food items we makes from the milk they are all milk items we make it from milk paneer then sweets many sweets we will make from milk so these are the items that we make from the milk cheese you use cheese for uh, chapati bread and all butter also you use for uh, bread when you eat isn't it yes with milk we can uh, make ice cream with curd uh, we uh, we use curd daily uh, for uh, our lunch and all with rice we use curd isn't it yes so there are many uses for the milk so you these items paneer ice cream sweets cheese etc we can make from milk they are all milk products so animals are useful to us in many ways the first and main use is animals gives us milk so which are the animals gives us milk children yes cow buffalo goat these animals gives us milk and milk is very important uh, to us means daily children should drink milk huh? it is important for our health yes and using milk we make different products like curd cheese butter ice cream paneer sweets etc et these all items we made from we make from milk yes so the first is animals gives us milk that is the first use of animals milk 